Hello everyone, I would like to read off a comment that I sent to the CDC on regulations.gov slash comment on slash CDC dash 2023. To whom it may concern at the CDC, it is reprehensible that yours can no longer be said to be the premier health institution on earth. It is shameful that you would wait until after the public health emergency has ended to update your guidelines on indoor air filtration and ventilation. It is reprehensible and unforgivable that you sided with the airlines and with corporations when it came to periods of infectiousness and sequestration, you upheld business as usual, and many people have died as a result of your insufficient support of public health and the scientific facts of our ongoing biological pandemic. You helped to end the cultural pandemic, and for this you should be ashamed of yourselves. I also find it reprehensible and personally threatening that you intend to restrict access to further COVID-19 boosters to ages 75 plus. You should be ashamed of yourselves as you abandon public health, as you fail to inform the public, and you leave us to the corporatocratic regime of individual health and individual risk evaluations rather than public health. C19 is a systemic vasculitis. SARS-CoV-2 binds to ACE2 and suppresses the function of ACE2 for oxidative stress balance on every organ and along the entire vascular endothelium. By playing along with business as usual, by creating restrictions around boosters, by working to end the cultural sense of the pandemic, you are abandoning millions to a mass disabling event and death. You know that C19 infections are showing up in excess deaths associated with cardiac events and strokes. You know that people will continue to be disabled, and when you do not do all that you can to communicate that reality, you are complicit with social murder. How else can you describe what is happening other than social murder? What percentage of the country should consider mask mandates under your watered-down guidelines? You are an embarrassment to your country and an embarrassment to the world. You have facilitated the undoing of public health to the late capitalist, neo-feudal circumstance. If you wish to remain respectable, you should redouble your efforts to support and advocate for non-pharmaceutical prophylactic interventions in public health. You should not go down the route of social murder, medical surplus, human surplus, and extraction through pharmaceuticals. We can prevent the most suffering and damage by embracing non-pharmaceutical interventions. Do not abandon public health, your oaths, your principles, your science. The pandemic is not over, and you should not allow the idea to be widely proliferated that it is. You should not be saying that we have the tools when only so few have access to those tools. You are leaving your country, your world, and your species to the proverbial wolves. Remove age restrictions on boosters. Educate people about long COVID. Educate people about Paxlovid. Educate people about non-pharmaceutical interventions. Maybe it is far too late for all of this, but I just want to acknowledge how miserable it is that we've ended up here. With 5% of the world's population, we here in the United States managed to secure over 25% of the death toll. Mortality and morbidity are encouraged by current messaging and by the current action plans. I would like to get the new booster, but I am a 27 year old man and I will not be afforded this life saving intervention on the basis of age discrimination. I cry foul. I hereby petition my government for a redress of grievances. Revive public health. Warn the public about the post-acute sequelae. Warn the people about brain damage and organ damage. Warn the people about the systemic vasculitis. Tell them that the pandemic is not over, much like HIV is an active pandemic. Tell them that COVID-19 is immunosuppressive. You should be enabling us to be aware and capable of mounting a reasonable and rational defense against this noxious biological agent. You abandon us to the wolves, I say. Do not stand between me and the next COVID booster. Lead the charge to clean indoor air. Advocate for masking and for truth. Do not block me from getting Novavax if I have had an mRNA vaccine. Support me in my ability to stay healthy. Do not side with corporations in extracting as much surplus medical value from me as is possible. Do not fuel the social murder. 
It is reprehensible for you to put restrictions on boosters and on Novavax. Get the money, get the advocacy, save human lives. You are treating us as so many expendables. You are abandoning, abandoning us. You are abandoning your principles and you are abandoning science. Free the boosters, free Novavax, free the science. Warn the public about long COVID and organ damage and brain damage and immune suppression. Clean indoor air. Fight the fight. Do not give up and roll over. Do not abandon the people. Do not tell them COVID is over. Do not let them get away with killing public health and with killing us. Let me get my booster. Let me get Novavax. Help me breathe clean indoor air. Help me live freely in the wealthiest nation on earth. Be the CDC you were meant to be. Thank you very much. This has been Jonathan T.